United, Dinos takes the win. He gets ten points. Sally, six. Chris, four. And at least John finished, so he does take two, which means when we update the leaderboard, he's back on top with a Krypton factor of 22. It's our math student from Sheffield, Dinos Spheres. <laughs> But there's still everything to play for in the final test, general knowledge. <laughs> Contestants begin with their Krypton Factor total so far. They'll score two points for a correct answer, but one point will be deducted for a wrong answer. It's all about getting your fingers on the buzzers as fast as possible. Good luck, guys. 90 seconds on the clock, please. Your time starts now. Ebenezer Scrooge appears in which book by Charles? Chris. A Christmas Carol. Correct. Journalist and broadcaster Carol Thatcher is a twin. What is her? <laughs> Sally. Mark Thatcher. Correct. Which of the Marx Brothers was named after the musical instrument he played? Chris. Harpo. Correct. Harpy, golden and bald, all types of which large predatory bird? Chris. Eagle. Correct. The Eagle Has Landed is a wartime thriller about a kidnap attempt on which figure? Anyone? Come on. No, it's Churchill. The Church of England has two archbishops, with one based in York and the other based in Sally. Canterbury. Correct. The cantaloupe is a variety of which fruit? Chris. Melon. Correct. Melbourne is the capital of which... Dinos. Australia. It's not. Uh, I was going to ask you the Australian state it was the capital of. It's Victoria. In which Victorian fantasy by Lewis Carroll does Humpty Dumpty talk to Alice? John. Alice in Wonderland. It's not. It's through the looking glass. Five years older than Glastonbury, the Cambridge Festival specialises in what genre? Chris. Folk. That's correct. In folklore, a lunatic is supposedly influenced by which celestial... Dinos. The moon. That's correct. In the mood is a tune made popular by which trombonist and big band? John. Come on. Glenn Miller. A millennium is a period of how many years? Sally. A thousand. Correct. Sally got that. The thousand and one Arabian Nights include a story about the seven voyages of which sailor? Dinos. Uh, it's... No, Come it's on. gone. It's Sinbad. Frank Sinatra, Peter Lawford, Joey Bishop, Dean Martin. And who else made up Sally? The Rat Pack. No, it was who made up the Rat Pack. It was Sammy Davis Jr. D-Day, the invasion of occupied Europe by the Allies took place in June of which year? We are out of time. We do have a winner with a Krypton factor of 26. Going through to the semi-finals is our online entrepreneur from Salford, Chris Barstow. <laughs> so well done, Chris. A cracking comeback in that last round. If you're sitting at home thinking you could do better, then go to the website, itv.com slash the Krypton Factor, where you can compete against tonight's contestants. And if you do well, you can find out how to apply to be on next year's show. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Going into the final round, I knew I had six points to make up on Dinos, but I knew that general knowledge was my strongest round, so I thought that would be the round that I'd come through on. I might not have won the Krypton Factor, but I came top in the physical ability and the mental agility, so I can hold my head high. The confrontation is getting out of control next here in Cops with Cameras. And then, will Amanda Holden still fancy the job of Hollywood's stunt woman after being battered and bruised when she's taught a fight sequence? At nine, it's Fantasy Lives. <laughs>